Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's we're going to be looking at a GMC Canyon AT4 that is an absolute bargain. Before we get in this video, I want to give a huge shout out and thank you to the Jerry Signer GMC in South Jordan for giving me some time with this Canyon. I'm going to include a link to their website in the description down below so you can check out what they have currently. And then on a side note, if you want to save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into it. Under the hood, we have a turbocharged 2.7 liter four cylinder that goes through an eight speed automatic transmission. Fuel economy 17 around town and then 20 on the highway with power outputs being 310 horsepower and then 430 pound feet of torque. Now, before we move forward with this review, I do want to mention if you want to see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. So with the Canyon AT4, it has the normal Canyon hood, and then we've got the Canyon split light design. So you can see here with like the daytime running light, headlight down below, and then fog light further down below. I really like the grill here on the AT4. You got the AT4 logo. And then you can see with the recovery points, we do have some skid plate protection too. But as you can see, this truck from a front end design perspective just looks really cool. And around the side here, we've got a tire wheel setup of 275, 65, 18 in the front and over in the rear. And you can see with the wheels, again, really cool design. And these are some chunky all-terrain tires. I mean, those, those can definitely do some stuff off-road. And you can see the front suspension a little bit there. Now with the Canyon, you've got these big fender flares and big fenders as well. AT4 logo. And then notice all the trim is painted. And then the Canyon does have leaf springs in the rear. And then here's your full side profile with the truck. And then taking a look at the key fob, we have our lock and unlock function. We got the remote start function and then the GMC logo. And this leads us into the bed. Uh, so the tailgate is dampened. And you can see we've got plenty of space. We have an outlet here in the bed as well. Uh, no bed liner with this particular one. It's always easy to adapt to the fact. But cool thing is the tailgate's always protected from the factory. And this has the little storage compartment just like other canyons. And then lifting up the tailgate, it's relatively light. GMC Canyon there in the back, you can see AT4 as well. And then look at the C-shaped tail light. And then we've got the bumper steps as well as parking sensors. And putting it all together, I think this truck looks really great on the outside. Now this leads us inside. You can see we've got really nice trim on the door panel. And then this is an interesting part. So you can see the seats on the outside similar to what you've probably seen in the AT4 before, but this has the cloth inserts here. So a little bit of a different packaging setup. And then getting in, leg room back here. It's good, pretty easy to get in. Got some cup holders there with some vents and all that. The window back here is manual for the opening operation. And then headroom in the canyon, it's pretty good. Now take a look at the front door panel again, same nice trim pieces throughout. Notice the front one is automatic. You get your mirror adjustments, blind spot running with the mirrors. And then we have 1,515 pounds of payload. And then here's the front seat AT4, again, cloth, but it does have power adjustments. Got your trailer brake controls, and then you can see the nice trim there on the dash. And, well, ooh. So you can see with the steering wheel here, got the GMC logo. We got rear controls in the back of the steering wheel. We got practical stuff for the center there. And then you can see with the cruise control and all of that. Now I'll explain the driving portion why I'm not starting up the truck, but we do have a full digital gauge cluster just like every other Canyon. And then you can see we've got this nice infotainment system. This is where you actually control the lights, for example, but we can also see the camera system. So 360 camera system with this truck, really good resolution throughout. Uh, just easy to use in general, like I said, good response time. And this is where you can also see the uh, off-road stuff, which is fun. It's got this whole page that shows everything that's happening, depending on the off-roading that you're doing. And then notice we've got our dual zone climb controls, heated seats as well. And then you can see across AT4 and then nice trim down below. And then this is to roll down all the windows at once. You've got your auto stop start, hazard lights, lane departure, auxiliary. So area for storage shifter here for the eight speed and then we have our advanced four-wheel drive system with our drive mode select so two-speed transfer case and four-wheel drive auto got some more storage here at the cup holders and then you can see with the center console nice trim on the top and then with the glove box yeah pretty normal uh and then aside from that nothing really happening up top of the headliner or anything 
Now, normally this is where I show the window sticker, but you can see what we have here. Anyways, I looked it up on the website. The MSRP in this truck is about $47,000. To put that into context, a Tacoma SR5 is like $46,000. So this truck with everything that it has is barely $1,000 more than an SR5 Tacoma. Let's take it out, drive it, sum things up, all of that. Well, let's talk about visibility before we set off. Here's visibility over the hood, both the mirrors. So with the rest of the rear. And you guys can see the fuel range there. It says fuel level low. Then also says 40 miles. So <laughs> here's my little backstory. Here's my little backstory behind the fuel situation with this truck. So I get in this truck and it says that it has 50 miles of range. Um, and so I'm like, okay, I'm not planning on going 50 miles, so that should be completely fine. And then next thing I know, as I'm slowly reversing out of the parking space this was in, the range keeps dropping. And I'm like, okay, it's a little bit weird. And I'm like, whatever, it's just adjusting. And then I get driving and then it keeps doing the same thing. And I'm like, okay, computer's glitching out. I don't know what's happening, um, but, but basically not enough fuel and then as I was like already on the road and already like halfway to the destination here, I realized that I didn't have my wallet on me and I'm like, I can't fill it up at the gas station. So I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna shut the truck off, not turn it on whatsoever and not risk it for the biscuit. So yeah. Anyways, can show you guys the gauge cluster with the changes. I think it's pretty cool how you can change with the different kind of settings on the gauge cluster. I don't know. I, I think it's fun how there's so many different modes depending on what you're doing with the truck. I don't know. I just think it's cool. Um, but some other stuff, these seats are actually comfortable. Uh, the cloth inserts, they aren't bad. Not bad at all. I think it's actually a pretty nice setup they got going on here. Um, now, aside from that, Interior is really nice with the Canyon AT4. It's definitely a premium mid-size pickup truck is what I would put it at when it comes to the interior. Oh, we should be finally good to go through. Yeah, would you look at that. Tons of torque out of this engine. Tons of torque. You can feel it right off the bat. And I can actually get up and move. It's so good. Yeah, the four cylinder on the Canyons just does such a great job when it comes to power. So yeah, with, with how this package is set up, I think that the exterior styling on the Canyon AT4, fantastic, it looks great. And then the interior, this is not too different from the loaded up AT4, frankly. Like this trim, all of this looks pretty much the same. The biggest difference that I've noticed is the seats with the inserts, right? You've got these cloth inserts versus the full leather that you have, but it still has a 360 camera. I guess it doesn't have the cooled seats. So that's another thing. So 360 camera, cooled seats, uh, or sorry, it has, so leather seats, cooled seats but it has everything else and it's quite, a, it's thousands of dollars less. That's the crazy part. It's how much less money this is. So yeah, I, regardless, I think this is a bargain. Uh, $47,000, Tacoma SR5 is that price, basically $46,000 for the SR5 that I reviewed. And that's base model Tacoma, cloth seats, all of that. So yeah, I just think that the value that they're offering here is really solid. And so yeah, I'll see you guys.